Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Zoom Photography. If today is your first time here, you are also welcome. Today we want to learn how to add metadata and copyright information to our pictures. We will look at uh, what uh, metadata is, why is it important to, to a photographer to add a metadata to your photograph or your pictures. And we want to look at how to create a metadata preset in Lightroom, how to add metadata in Lightroom, and also finally we'll look at how to check metadata of a photo on the web. Without much I do, let's zoom in. Okay, so what is metadata? Metadata is information about a, a photo. This information includes the dates, when it, uh, the dates, location, and all that, and the creator of the photo. Mostly, when you don't add it, you don't customize your metadata. It goes without your name and the copyright information. So it is very important for us to add our name and copyright information to a photo so that when it goes to out to the web, if somebody search on Google for a beautiful picture and it came out and the person wants to contact you so that the person can have a, a right to use the picture, then the person can rely on your metadata embedded in the photo to contact you. So to show you what it is, I have to go into my PC. So let's go. This is a picture I took last week. And to check the metadata, you have to right click and go to properties. On Windows PC, you go to details. And this is where the information of the picture or the photo is. As you can see, it tells you the author of the picture, which is zoom photography, and the make of the camera use, the version of it, the copyright information, the picture dimension. You can see there are a lot of field here that have not been filled, that have not been entered into. So we, we have to customize this so that anytime we send a picture or a photo out there, our information will be embedded in it. All right. So how do we add metadata or customize our metadata and add copyright information to our photos? Let's go to Lightroom and I'll show you. So these are some photos in my library module let's say uh, I, I, I want to check or I want to add a metadata to a photo I'll click on the photo in the library module or even in the library module you click on the photo and you come to the right hand side where you see quick develop keyword in keyword list and then the third one is metadata when you click on metadata, you will see the existing information on the photo. So in this small box, you click here where there is none, you click edit metadata. It is, it will be good if you take your time to fill all the field, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we we'll just fill some important ones. So we look at IPC copyright. This is it, IPC copyright. So you edit this column. Over here, you have to put a copyright sign. And I've been looking for a shortcut to put the copyright sign in window, but I'm finding it difficult to put it so there's another way of doing it, which you go to um, search bar and look for character map. 
character map character map then you look for the copyright symbol which is a C with a circle around it uh, this is it you click on it and click on select and then copy and then come back to Lightroom IPTC copyright and control VIN on window to paste it then copyright I zoom photography that's my business name all rights reserved Then you come down to copyright and you click on copyrighted. So rights of usage, you type all rights reserved. All rights reserved. No no replication. without permission. Then copyright info, you can put your URL there. Mine is www.zoomgh.com. The next is to fill your IPTC creator information. So the creator can write your name. Uh, you are the creator of the photography. F. Agboada. You can put your address. I'll put my city to be Accra. Then I can put my website here. As I said, you have to take your time and fill most of the fields. Then you can put your email address here. Mine is info at zoomgh.com. Next important on the list is IPTC status. So this is it. The title you can put your name instead of zoom gh dot com no, the source you put your name there f okay that is it so there are a lot of information in here for you to fill but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just filling the essential ones so you can click done it asks you to save now say yes save so i will name it zoom photography 2021 create presets you are done so when you click on that same image and you click on Zoom Photography 2021, all the important, the information you put in there have appeared. Copyright Zoom Photography, all right, reserve, copyrighted, your creator's name. The next is how do you apply this metadata presets to all other images in your catalog or in your library? What you do is you, you click on the one with the uh, metadata information and then when you control click on the other maybe the rest every every other photo control a to check all other photo you can now come to this preset dialog box and click zoom photography 2021 
and it's asking me if I want to apply metal data preset to all the information. I'll say yes. So I'll tick down show again. Selected or selected. So it's applying all the metadata to all the other images in my catalog. Check your uh, metadata online. Or you saw a photo on Google or anywhere on the web. You want to trace the owner. How do you actually get the copyright information and metadata of that photo? There's a, a free website called metapix m-a-t-a-p-i-c-z dot com it's a wonderful website it's free you just drop your photos there and it tells you exactly what you want concerning your metadata and copyright information so let's go to lightroom let's export one photograph right click export so let's pick the picture we just exported and drop it in pix metapix.com drop it here and then voila you go this uh, all your metadata information of the picture it tells you that I've been copyrighted to zoom photography uh, the gears use resolution and all that everything is here the shutter speed value the aperture everything you want is here so wherever you throw this picture on on the internet you people can still find you the one who took the picture there's one caveat though when you send this photo to photoshop and you save it, save it, save for web. You use the save for web option. This information will clear. So the only way to um, add your your info to is to tag or watermark your photo. So everybody who sees the picture will know that it's yours. That's how come when you go to Instagram, because people use save for web, they have to watermark their pictures. Not that um, there's no other way to put in, but sometimes the metadata or the copyright information gets cleared off when you use the save for web option in Photoshop. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, kindly give me a thumbs up, comment, say hi, say something, like my page, share it, follow, share it and let other people follow. Thank you.